forums and discussions. Um, there's already been a couple of webcasts that I've attended, which I thought were really, really good. They weren't focused on any one, like I said, software or solution. Just talked about the best practices of how to handle uh, document productions. One of them was on forex uh, forensics collections and so forth, which was interesting for me. And it was a really good, really well done. Um, and it's seeking out industry experts to help lead this. All right. Um, so some of the other uh, benefits you get, there's monthly newsletter that comes out. There's some really good information. Um, they're working on uh, a magazine as well, which some of the articles that have already come out have been really good. And industry training, professional networking, mentoring, a lot of the basics that you're going to expect with any association. Um, the big one is the educational offerings um, and online programs for learning different parts of the industry. I mean, somebody like Chris, who's focused his career on IT, gives him an opportunity to go to a resource that's you know, maybe going to provide him a little more insight as to what it is that legal really needs out of IT and help us all understand each other a little bit better. And vice versa, for those who are paralegals or attorneys, gives them an opportunity to see what IT is up against and the challenges they face when we put the demands on them. All right. <clears throat> so some of the recent discussions that were up there talking about licensing requirements for collecting data um, in Texas, they passed law that states that uh, a forensics technician has to have a PI license. So there's a big discussion about that, talking about should that be the standard nationwide? And should we you know, be a sounding board and a group that helps push for that? <clears throat> I mean, so I know some of the thoughts I've heard on that are some people think it's good. Other people think, well, why do we want a bunch of ex-cops delving in IT things? Do we really want a bunch of, you know, policemen or former military guys just coming in and dealing with things that they probably haven't dealt with a whole lot just because they have a PI license. So it's, you know, I don't have the answer, but those are some of the discussions coming up. And as a group nationwide, we need to have a voice and help speak up, excuse me, speak up on these issues. Um, also, the establishment of globally accepted standards for the lit support community. Um, it's a big question. I mean, who sets those standards? I mean, who are we going to trust to do that? Do we expect summation to do that for us or concordance or some software giant? Or do we expect some just large <coughs> law firm, maybe like a, a Jones Day, let them set the bar? It's probably not the best idea. So as a group, we've got to speak up and share our thoughts and help set those standards without letting one group or one methodology you know, prevail. So that's really the main objective. So when you register for the membership, uh, some of the things that you have in front of you today this little handout came from headquarters. <coughs> Talked about membership costs and so forth. Um, normally, it's